Hello YouTubers, this is Are You Train Man 2, and um, today I am uh, making a, uh, a diorama. Uh, you can see that uh, it's on a uh, an old door. Uh, I had plenty from the old farmhouse, <laughs> so uh, I thought I'd uh, utilize it and uh, use it for a, um, a diorama piece. Um, you can see that part of the track is elevated. Uh, on some boards. It's not perfectly level, but then again, it's not made to run like a layout. Uh, this track here, you can see slightly uh, goes to a decline down to the uh, door itself from the plywood in the back, which is quarter inch. Uh, I have a lot of little wood pieces here that I will use to, uh, you know, prop in gaps and stuff and whatnot. Uh, and I've left plenty of space out to the edge, and that's for one reason. When I put the camera down, I want you to be able to see ground from here all the way to the trains, and not the edge of my <clears throat> railroad table, my clutter. Um, I have a lot of uh, land here, so I can take the uh, uh, table itself out into the grass somewhere and... Uh, get some good photos and videos of it uh, with real sky backdrops and mountains. It's pretty smoky here today in Central Oregon. Uh, there's a couple of fires going on, but uh, as you can see, I have a pretty good uh, picturesque uh, site, um, at least until my chicken coop goes up. I've been working on that. Uh, quite a bit lately that's why I haven't been doing a lot on the layout um, but uh, real basic track plan this is all the track that's going on there a single track into a Y on the right and a double track main uh, there will be uh, one road very little structures if at any at all and uh, hey guys are you train man too and uh, you're just going to have to deal with the uh, wind and traffic because I do live on a highway. Uh, sorry about that, but uh, here is uh, another video on the uh, diorama. As you can see, I'm laying the color foam for the road. What I want to do is uh, measure how wide it needs to be for a four lane. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do a four lane. I might as well. So, uh, first things first is I'm, I uh, already pre-measured and I want to go to, uh, for four vehicles, seven and a quarter inches. So I just, uh, Mark seven and a quarter. Take the vehicles off. Now what I'm doing here is I'm using the black color foam to uh, to make the base of the road. And then I'm going to use the gray color foam to uh, on top of it. I'm going to use gray here in the foreground and in the background I've decided I'm going to make another highway. So uh, I'll have actually two roads, one grade crossing don't have to measure again roads are not perfect so don't worry about uh, getting them off uh, the first time that you do it or any time that you do it for that matter uh, I'm going right up to the rails uh, on this one uh, the problem is is that the uh, the rail heads will uh, cause a problem so I'm gonna go up to the little 
plastic spikes that are actually molded onto the ties. What I'm going to do is glue that across there. Okay, and then when we come back, I'll show you the rest. Okay, so I have some uh, Elmer's white glue that's not diluted. What I'm going to go ahead and do is just uh, lay on some glue here. Lay that back down. I'm going to weight it down with something square and heavy. A pack of testers paints that I have sitting in my shop for quite a while. And uh, I am going to let this dry. When you come back, you will see that this section down here at the end has been filled in as well. Okay, you guys. So, uh, what I wanted to do was uh, move this back. You can see that I've lined it up with the black piece up there that I put in between the rails. I'll put a gray piece on top of it. I'll put a black piece or uh, just uh, a gray piece here, but I have to put a piece of sheet metal in there, which I have over on the other side of the table. Uh, to keep the incline built up uh, gradual instead of having, you know, a real steep incline coming up. Uh, but uh, I have the ruler there to mark about how straight it is. If I look along the edge of the foam, and I look along the edge of the ruler, it looks like it's pretty straight up there. I pre-cut out a long piece, seven and a quarter inches, and uh, when this dries, I will take this piece of foam and my sheet metal and build the grade going up the little hill, and then put a piece of gray across in between those two rails. And then I'm going to put a highway down along the back. Uh, as you can see, I painted the track uh, brown and put some uh, risers underneath the rails. Um, I also put uh, ties in where the spaces were empty. On some of them, this one's not going to matter because it's going to be sunken into the ground. Uh, but uh, here's the beginning of it. Okay, as you can see, I've uh, cut out the next piece of foam here. I have the piece of metal. I'm just going to uh, quickly glue the metal down. Once uh, the entire diorama has uh, its... Uh, scenery on it, dirt, ballast, whatever I'm going to add. Uh, it will also uh, it will also have its uh, strength and rigidity. Now I'm mixing glues here because I want the color foam to stick really good to this. Just went through all my crazy glue in that one bottle there. It's alright. to uh, be nice and flat on there, so I'm going to add some weight to it. I recommend that, but 
that's what I have to go on. Okay, so I have the uh, road going from the edge across the three tracks to the other side of the diorama where the highway will be going long ways across the back. <clears throat> Here's how it'll look from down the rails. Pardon the sunlight, can't really help that. And uh, I have an easement on both sides up here at the top that's going to uh, kind of ease out onto the highway. So uh, that's how that looks. Hello YouTube, sorry you train man too. And uh, this is the um, diorama I'm building. Um, not sure what part this is, so I'll just say it's part. <laughs> uh, so uh, after I did the diorama, I uh, opened up my bottle of asphalt paint that I have, and it was dried up. So I put a thin layer of gray on it and I gotta mix some more asphalt paint but uh, there's pretty much how the layout of the tracks is going to be. It's not going to be uh, any more than this. It's just for photos. Uh, short videos maybe. But uh, there you go. See you back soon. All right, you guys. So uh, here's my uh, diorama. Uh, I'll zoom out a little bit. You can see how big it is or how small it is. It's on a door. It's an 88 inch door. Uh, the road's not done yet. No striping on it. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's basically the uh, diorama in its entirety, so I can uh, take pictures of nice, neat uh, rolling stock and whatnot. And you can see the colors out in the natural sunlight. Let me know what you think, and uh, I'll get back to you.